guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really quick video. This isn't gonna be like a demo or anything. I just wanted to get into some swatches. So I bought this Norvina palette. You guys saw it in my August haul. I got it during the Sephora summer bonus event. It wasn't something I wanted, like really, because this is so far removed from what we're used to seeing from Anastasia. And I was like, oh, I kind of hate it. Like, I honestly didn't think it was a color combo that really appealed to me. Um, but I bought it because I have a YouTube channel and it was 20% off. I mean, that seems like the right thing to do. Then they sneak peeked this guy and I was like, are you kidding me? I would have totally picked this one over the purple one if they had launched that one first. So this is the Norvina Volume 2 and I just got this in the mail. Again, I was definitely going back and forth on if I should buy the second one because I was like, uh, I didn't really love the first one. Mostly the color scheme because the purple, it's a lot of purple. And this one was a lot of blue green and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I feel like I have that a hundred times over. So anyway, I wanted to make a video where I compared all three. So this one I thought was really cute when they showed the promo pictures, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy that. Like, I'm never gonna use that. But again, I was like, you know what? I think this would be such a great video for my YouTube channel because everyone is like, I can't tell the difference. These all just look like she threw together a bunch of shadows. So here is palette number three. And now that I can see them all in front of me, because I don't know if my Sephora was going to get these, I just want to show you guys side by side so you guys can kind of get an idea. Of course, I have my lights on, but I thought this way at least you guys would be able to see if just by eyeing it, if you can tell if there's a lot of repeat shades. This definitely works. This is the only one I've used on my eyes works like a pressed pigment shadow so right off the bat if you guys don't like pressed pigments you're not gonna like these palettes because you have to pack not so much blend i've never seen anastasia do this much color so that's what really like blew my mind because it's like they didn't just subtly do like one colorful eyeshadow palette no they went in like hard so I was really really curious to do like some swatches but like I wanted to do swatches like people were doing them when they photoshopped the palettes where they grouped like light colors together. So I want to start off with the Norwina volume 1 and I want to swatch all the purples so that's kind of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go into C4 which is clearly a purple, B5, B4, A3, a2 so here are the purple shades so they're not the same but they're definitely similar as you will see and i just feel like to have this palette you definitely have to love purple and this is like a little too much purple for me like this is a lot of purple like i'm not the biggest fan of purple like i like how it looks i used to be really into berries but all of a sudden I'm like overwhelmed and then there's still B1 and then A1 is like a shimmer but it's like a lilac so there's kind of all the purples that I kind of eyeballed in the Norvina volume 1. So let me just look over to 2 quick. There is a bluish purple in here and this one too B2 kind of looks like a purple too but nothing really screams like purple and I'm gonna look in the third one and there's definitely some purples in here so now I'm gonna swatch B4 from Norina volume 3 and then E5 which is like a shimmer purple so there's those and then you can see they look some of these shades look very similar so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine purple shades that I just like eyeballed you know because I haven't done any like prep I literally just opened up this box so just wanted to show you that so now should we do like pink let's do pink so I'm looking at Norvina um one again there's a bright pink in here there's a shimmer pink there's two pinks 
And I'm sorry, I forgot to swatch D2. D2 is definitely like a blue purple. So that's also part of the purple. It's like a purpley blue. It looks more purple in the pan, but it's swatched more blue when I just swatched it. So now we're doing pink. So here's like obviously it's a pressed pigment because it's so bright. And then that's the shimmer pink. And that's from volume one. Now I'm going to go into volume two. And there's definitely two bright pinks in here. There's A1 and then D3. So I'm going to swatch those. So this pink and this pink look the same. This is a bright pink shimmer and then this is a light pink shimmer. So that's in volume two. And then I'm going to open up three. And three has a matte pink in it as well. That's B3. It's like a pink coral. And there's the pink shade. So we have one, two, three, four, five pinks between the three palettes. Okay, so now I think it's gonna get a little crazy. Let's do reds. Um, I think this is like a red shimmer. Yeah, it's like a bronzy red. So C3 in volume one, D3. I'm gonna do reds and oranges. E2, E1, and then E4 are three like orangey red shades in volume one. So I'm gonna swatch all of those right here. This looks red, right? It's like a coppery red. Okay, so closing up volume one, then I'm gonna go into volume two. And um, there's not really a red in here, but there is an orange, so let me swatch D2. Here's that. Looks very much like this orange shade in here. That's from volume one. And then we're gonna go into volume three, which has, I think, quite a few orange red shades. So I'm gonna swatch A2, A5, um, B3, C2, um, E3, and there's a bunch more. There's some deeper reds as well that I can swatch. So here's a handful all from Norvina volume three so obviously you know yeah there's like maybe some light differences but I mean they're still pretty pretty similar oh and then here's a like an orange glitter as well in Norvina volume three so now let's do I almost wonder if I'll have enough arm space. Maybe I can yeah, use the inside. So from Norvina volume one, I'm gonna swatch the blues. So there's only one blue shade in here. It's this guy, it's D4. So there's D4. Volume two has a lot of blues and greens. So let me, let me just do blues. Okay, so B2 is kind of a blue green, uh, blue-purple, sorry, B4, B5, C2, C4, and then there's D1, so here's some more blues. I mean, pigment swatch like butter, so here's some more blues, and then there's the shade D1, which is beautiful. How gorgeous is that? And then we're gonna go into Norwina 3, which is mostly green, so I'll just stop there. So Norwina 3 doesn't really have any blues. And then Norwina 1 doesn't really have any greens, so we don't have to swatch anything in there. Of course, there's a bunch of neutrals too. I can maybe swatch those at the end. So Norvina 2 is the more green heavy one. So I'm gonna swatch A2, A3, A5, B1, B3. Let's put all those here as well. So 
So not really similar shades, but you know, different shades of green. And then there's a teal called E1 and E3 are more like teal greens. So there's those two. And then in Norvina 3, there's also a ton of greens. And so we need to swatch A1, A4, B2, C5, D3. Uh. Okay, I'm not very good at swatching. And then look, like there's so many similarities on the green. And then there's one more shade called E1. right there and right there. So very similar green tones. And then I think I'm gonna swatch the neutrals and we have B2, which I'm gonna swatch right here. It's a coppery brown. We have C5, it's just another brown. Um, we have E3 and E5. Those two look very similar, all in Norvina 1. Norvina 2 has C5 and E4. Those are so close. Oh my gosh, I can't even, can't even tell. And then Norvina 3, which I suspect also has a decent amount of matte browns. We've got C. 3A3, D1, E2, and D4. Oh, and then there's also another mat, so I'll just swatch. And then there's B5. So there's all of the neutrals right there. Sorry, that's kind of an unflattering arm position, but so you can see, fun colors, very pigmented, but definitely reoccurring colors in all of the palettes, you know, different similarities and such. So I need to play with these more before I can tell you which one I would recommend you buying. I personally really gravitated towards this color scheme and this color scheme. The purple one, I honestly had told people on my comment section that I was thinking of returning it because honestly, for the price, it was just too much purple for me. I really enjoyed the fact that Anastasia did neons. Like, that to me is shocking that I would have never thought I would see a color like this or like this from Anastasia. Like, it's pretty groundbreaking stuff. So, yeah, I have all three. I definitely want to do some looks and maybe do a review or something like that. So let me know down in the description box. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you would enjoy seeing. The other thing I want to say is, you know, there's a lot of shit that everyone said about these palettes. And don't get me wrong, I definitely see merit in what people are saying. The only thing I will say as a positive is, you know, we should really em embrace creativity in the beauty community. And yes, like this could be a huge money grab for Anastasia. It could be them trying to raise more money for their investors, X, Y, Z things. But for them to make something so different from what we're used to, um, and even like my reaction when I first, like when I think about it even now, I'm like, ah, oh, like, I would have been so happy if they just made another, you know, 14 pan eyeshadow palette. And then I ask myself, like, you know, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. Because if they kept creating that same style of palette, we would have all complained. And now that they're trying something different, we're still complaining. So I am trying to be more neutral about that fact. 
and I do see that there are people that are excited about these palettes. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of people that'll buy all three like I did. Um, most people I think that have videos up on it are people that bought the Norvina during the sale or they received them in PR, but I'm really, really curious to see how these palettes will be received. It'll be interesting to see if they'll do any more like this or if this was like a one-off deal. I haven't 100% made up my mind about how I feel about these palettes yet, so definitely look forward to that in future videos. I would love to hear what you guys thought of me just trying to swatch similar shades. I know this video wasn't perfect. This is me filming at like 10 o'clock at night after working my full-time job, after having people over for dinner. I'm pretty tired, so I just wanted to get this video up and I wanted to get a feel of how you guys were feeling about these palettes and after seeing all these beautiful swatches. So yeah, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.